Hey what's going on guys, Tessie Wurty here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for 1.12.2 In this one we are going to be going over how to create an overworld based dimension So we have done the nether based, now we're going to be doing the overworld based and the next one will be end based So let's go ahead and get started So if you haven't watched the nether uh, dimension tutorial What you will want to do is going to go into registry handler Go into your pre init registries and you want to add dimension in it dot register dimensions. Then in your init package, you are going to create a dimension in it, and in here, you are going to create a new variable so public static final dimension type, and we are going to just call this um, overworld underscore temp. And that is going to equal um, dimension type, oh, dimension type dot register. We're going to put the first thing is just the um, name. Um, it is, yeah, just string name. So this is just going to be overworld temp. That's what I'm going to call it. Then the next one, you're going to put underscore. And then the name in full lowercase, so overworld temp. And the ID, so this is the numerical um, ID, it syncs across mods. So you cannot have this ID the same as another dimension, otherwise, it just won't work. Um, I think the game crashes. So you'd normally want to put this as a configurable ID, but we haven't done that yet, um, and we will be doing doing that in the future so don't worry for now I'm just going to put it to free um, next we're going to have the provider so this is going to be called dimension and I'm going to call this dimension overworld temp dot class and keep loaded this is whether the chunks in the dimension keep loaded or not it's quite self-explanatory um, this can cause lag so you might not want it um, I'm just going to put false. Obviously, we have an error on this, and that is because we haven't created the class yet. So let's go ahead and go down here. In your world package, I have created an uh, overworld template. First, we need to actually register this. So, in a method, public static file register dimensions, you want to put dimension manager dot register dimension. Oh, I put two s's. Dot register dimension ID is free that must be the same as this one up here and this is going to be um, overworld temp so overworld temp there you go just like that so the first thing you're going to want to create is the dimension overworld temp so create a new class and we're going to call dimension overworld temp this is going to be a world provider so you could also call it world provider overworld temp but i'm just going to keep it as this that is going to go ahead and extend world provider just like that and import world provider we are then going to create um the init method so you just um get that from there in here you just want to do this dot biome provider is equal to a new biome provider custom and this one and then you in here you want to put this dot world dot get seed which is a long value it's the world's seed next is get dimension type so this is going to return dimension in it in it dot overworld temp then we're going to use the method create chunk generator to get it to generate our chunks so this is going to return a new um, overworld gen template and that is going to take in this dot world and this dot world dot get seed just like that and we will create this class in a minute 
Next, we're going to use the method is surface world. So this is just an extra method you can add. And if you return true, it means that it's the main surface world, basically. Um, so mine's going to be true, of course, because it's an overworld um, dimension. Next is can respawn here. Obviously, we are going to have that because it's an overworld dimension and that just makes sense. Um, but also, you don't have to return true. Next is get fog color. I am just going to copy the one from the last tutorial. Get fog color. So this is a RGB value of the fog. It's a VEC 3D and it has to be a double. Just get the RGB number and you divide it by 255D for each RG and B and you put that in a new VEC 3D. Also you want to generate the light brightness table which you can also get from the last tutorial. It's just a bit of maths to generate um, the lighting of the dimension. You can also do things like get cloud height and um, all these different things you can change. And I believe there's also setters that you can do. Not a huge amount of setters. Oh, by the way, I'm getting this little pop-up menu by doing control space. Um, and that basically brings all these different methods. You just click one and you enter and it brings the method in. So uh, that's all I'm going to add. And in fact, I'm going to add get cloud height just because that could be useful. And that's a float value. Um, but obviously you can mess around with all these different methods and whatnot. So now you just want to go back into dimension in it and import that. Voila, now we can close that. Next, I suppose it's logical to create the overworld gen template. So let's go new class and we're gonna call this overworld gen template. So this needs to implement iChunk generator. And this is a very big class as it does all the math and everything for basically generating the chunks. So I'm going to copy it from my code. Um, this will be in my GitHub in the description. It's very long. I uh, just do Control Shift O and we can import all the correct things. So you want net.minecraft.world.world type, uh, java.util.random, java.util.list. Obviously we're gonna have to create that. I need to change this to the constructor. We have a lot of chunk gen settings. I think that's all the rest of the errors actually. So next we're gonna wanna create a chunk gen settings class. So let's create that. We're gonna call this chunk gen settings. It's actually not going to extend or implement anything. So once again, this is also a very big class. It is 1,000 lines, exactly. Paste it. Are we missing some imports? We are. We are missing a lot of imports. Type java.lang.reflect.type. So there it is. java.lang.reflect.type. So it's the only interface, I think. JSON utils. So this is from net.minecraft.util and all the rest should import by itself. And obviously that takes us down to 1000 lines. Beautiful. That is that. Forgot to mention this. You need to change this to biome provider overworld um, as we're going to need a new biome provider. So create a new class. We're going to call this biome provider overworld. This is going to extend biome provider. Provider, just like that. Go ahead and give that an import. So this is quite a big class. So you're going to want to go ahead and copy it from my GitHub. Um, link is in the description. And there we go. Just go ahead and import everything. java.util.random, java.util.list. And now we go up to here, change these to constructor. You probably won't have to do that. And we're going to call this gen layer fix overworld, just like that. So now we actually need to go ahead and create this class. So a new class, and we're going to call this gen, oh, 
gen layer fix overworld. This does not extend anything, um, and it is a pretty simple class, but I'm just going to copy it from my GitHub. Um, you can copy it from the video if you want. Just one thing we need to change is right here. So uh, gen layer biomes, and we're going to call this gen layer biomes overworld temp. That's what I'm going to call it. So once again, we need to create another class. Gen layer biomes. Gen, gen layer biomes over world temp. Pretty long class name, probably shouldn't have it that long. This is just going to extend gen layer just like that. Um, so, first, we want to go ahead and create a list of allowed biomes. So, private biome array allowed biomes is equal to in here. I'm just going to put biome in it dot test biome I'm also going to put biomes or yeah, biomes dot and then these are the default vanilla biomes so I'm going to add mutated desert and biomes dot um, deep ocean just give that a control shift O there you go next we need to add the constructor and also the git int method the constructor is going to take in a long seed and this is obviously going to, well not obviously, but this is going to super off of the seed. Git ints is just another method I'm going to copy off of my GitHub. Um, it's not too long, but I just can't be bothered to write it out. Uh, it's just a bit of maths which gets the generation and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to copy the whole method because... Alright, so now that class is done. So just one more thing I would just like to go over. Yeah, the last thing I would like to go over is in the dimension class. No, not this one, but let's fix that warning there. So in here, you this is where you can change the blocks to the blocks that you want. So I'm going to just change as an example i'm going to change water to blocks dot end rods yes perfect that might crash i don't know um because that'll probably be a lot of particles um, i'm going to change the stone to barriers i'm going to change the gravel to bedrock i'm going to change the bedrock to clay and uh, you can obviously change the air if you want i mean i wouldn't recommend it but you can um so that's actually it i believe now i'm gonna, gonna go ahead i'm gonna run the game so yeah i will see you guys there all right so guys we just got in the game um and let's do use our tp dim command which we created uh some time ago and teleport to dimension three and we're here don't know why it's a missing texture that's that's interesting well this is what happens when you use n rods as um as water all right so guys as you can see we just got into the game and um well here it is um here's the desert here's my biome <laughs> my weird weird biome um so yeah i mean here it is um as you can see it's kind of all floaty down here not not sure what's happening down here yes okay don't worry <laughs> i said it to barry so yeah here it is um actually looks very interesting so that's actually about it for this tutorial um in fact well that is it um so if you guys did enjoy this tutorial please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe if you really enjoyed it please do be sure to share it and i will see you guys in the next video good bye